A Long Island mother is accused of using antifreeze in a stone cold plot to kill her estranged husband. And prosecutors say that on at least two occasions, Renee Burke poured that antifreeze into her husband's drink in front of their young children. News Force Greg Sergal has the details from Riverhead, where the woman faced a judge. Yes, Natalie, a roughly four month investigation came to an end today with Renee Burke in handcuffs here at Suffolk Criminal Court. A post on the Mother of Two's Facebook page reads that being a mom is the most fulfilling gift in the world. But the grand jury indictment against Burke, in essence, says she failed her kids by trying to kill their father. Cold hearted. And this is obviously very, very disturbing. Disturbing, Suffolk DA says, because as Renee Burke was fighting for custody of her two kids in divorce court, she used antifreeze to try and poison her estranged husband three times last September. And she did this, worst of all, in the presence of her child, even with the assistance of her child. The kids watched the DA says as Burke poured the antifreeze into her husband's wine and soda bottles. Prosecutors say Burke had broken into the Holbrook apartment where her husband had temporary custody of their son and daughter. After one incident, the DA says, the four-year-old boy told his babysitter, mommy put something into daddy's drink. Police found a bottle of pink colored Prestone antifreeze in the defendant's kitchen. We also have lab reports showing the presence of antifreeze in several bottles. Prosecutors say after the first two poisoning attempts, Burke's husband tasted the tainted drinks but spat it out. Fearing the worst, he then set up surveillance cameras inside his apartment. And those cameras captured Burke's eight-year-old daughter holding baby bottles filled with antifreeze as mom put the antifreeze into a wine bottle. Cameras get back. A woman who accompanied Renee Burke to court and her lawyer both refused comment after the 40-year-old pleaded not guilty to attempted murder and other charges. When questioned by the police, the defendant claimed that she poured fruit juice into the victim's wine bottle to water it down. Now, despite that claim, police say they found searches on Burke's uh, cell phone, among other things, asking the question, can antifreeze kill humans? We're in Riverhead tonight. Greg Sergal, News 4 New York. Yeah.